The following program may contain strong language. All of the comments and opinions expressed do not reflect the views of anyone but those making said comments. If you decide to continue listening to this program, it is assumed that you are not easily offended and have a broad sense of humor. Not at all that's out of the way. Enjoy! Welcome to episode 18, 19? 18. 18. 18 of the Mike and Billy show. It is Mike Lent. And Billy Finnegan. Once again, back with you. How you doing, Billy? It's been one of those I, weeks, I, hasn't it? Oh my god, I yeah. can just see it in your face. <laughs> I don't you even don't want to do this me. right now. Remember last week when, when I was saying how rested I was and how good I felt because I had gotten a lot of sleep and I had overcome the, yes. the, the, uh, the daylight savings time? Yes. Opposite. Total opposite. Opposite. Last week was actually a really nice week for me. It was very down key. Now it's like last week was Disney World. This week's Holocaust, yeah. basically, is what you're doing. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway. This I feel week, like garbage. This week woke up and kicked me in the face. Said it Fuck really you. did. And today, and and today I slept till about know, like five thirty. Like when you texted me this afternoon saying you were going to be late, it was like I had been up for twenty minutes. <laughs> I had been awake for twenty minutes. So you only had what three cups of coffee by that time? <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> Because I'm sitting there, and uh, I'm sitting on the couch. I had just actually had my first sip of my coffee when, oh. you, when your text came through. Mm. And, uh, and I said, I'm going to be late. I'm like, yes. I don't have to rush. I can actually finish this coffee and not drink it in the shower with me. Well, I am so glad that I could do that for you and instead let you sip coffee and, and do your thing and get relaxed. While Watch I, a little bit of TV. While I, enjoy. Sat, while I sat in the... The third round of traffic that I sat in today. Seventh because ring of hell. It's like, you know, it's no, we had awful snowstorms. I'm so We've fucking done with snowstorms. winter. I'm so... I got stuck in... I got stuck. My car <laughs> got fucking stuck at six o'clock in the morning yesterday. And God damn it, it's fucking the first day of spring, technically, as all the morning news shows want to fucking yeah. say, Hey, everybody, wake up in the first day of spring. Fuck you and fuck the groundhog. Okay. <laughs> I got fucking stuck in ice and snow because my car is not built for winter, but it's like, it's fucking, what, what is it, uh, March uh, 20, 20th, is it? Yeah, March 20th, and uh, yeah, we got about five, six inches of snow where we are, and yes, that will, that will disability, no, not, not, that's not the word. Um, Disappear? Debilitate. Debilitate. My car. Yes. Is that the right phrasing? Sure. Phrasing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I get home at six o'clock a.m. after working all night. And uh, I like how you emphasize that by throwing yourself back in the chair. It's just so fucking aggravating. And uh, back my car into the driveway because my f- fucking neighbors are lazy piece of shit. I'm going to say that much. So glad you're lubed up for this uh, show. Yeah, I've been uh, pre-gaming at the bar. <laughs> and, uh, well, I mean, what are you going to do? You, you know, uh, Billy was in traffic. I was sitting here awkwardly staring at the night host of the other show. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? <sighs> We gotta do, I gotta do something I gotta, I gotta like just this. leave and uh, remove myself well, from the situation before I say something wrong to this woman. Well, and of course, the worst thing about the whole traffic appeal and, and weather I'm just around here. I'm wearing five pound boots on my like, feet. <laughs> it's spring. Well, yeah, absolutely. We're coming up on March 21st. I gave up on winter jackets. I'm not wearing one. I, I put it away. I it's refuse. In the, it's, in, it's in the attic well, for, for another season. I'm not, put, I'm not taking well, it back out. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they, they are predicting oh, I know. more snow. I know. Oh. I know. They're, well, they're, I thought you might have more put your today. blinders on and not yeah. even. No. Oh, there's, but there's supposed to be a storm supposedly coming in next week as well. That's awesome. Yeah. <sighs> so fucking aggravating. <laughs> Do you want to move this show to Florida? Seriously, I mean, is anyone out there like willing to pay us to really? move to Florida? We are we are hireable and affordable, do, we'll, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Just just ask our bosses. We are affordable. <laughs> they won't get rid of us. <laughs> well, now they might. Well, come on now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dick. We, yeah, sure they are. Sure they are. Find somebody who can do my... Wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. We love our job. So anyway, Absolutely. So anyway, uh, um, before we were, we were... Rudely going interrupted to come, by me. <laughs> yes. Before we were going to come on the show, yeah. uh, a bit of news crap, crap, crapped out. Crapped out. Crapped out of the local uh, scene. Out Go of the ahead. local scene. Dropkick Murphys. Oh, yes. Partying. Over in, uh, it was in New York they were in. Well, they were doing a show. It was uh, before they came to Boston uh, for St. Paddy's Day. It was, it it was, was interesting uh, the because it, the, what was the, do you know what the club was? 
It looks very House of Blues just here in Boston. Yes, it's it's like I believe it's like that. It's a it's a type of club that's built like the House of Blues. But anyway, it's a bootleg House of Blues, basically. Um, you know, they're playing their songs they, right. and they do uh, "Kiss Me Up, Shit Face," which yep. is one of their songs. And they had all the girls on the stage for it. Which I heard when they did the uh, the the garden show. Uh, the people here in Boston wouldn't let the people get on stage. They wouldn't let the fans. So, really? So Ken jumped in the crowd. Of course he did, because he's a, he's a good boy. He's he's a he's a crowd pleaser. Well, he is. Well, and of course, to get with the crowd pleasing, mm-hmm. they soon played, uh, what was it, Skinhead on the MPTA, I believe? Yes. Yes. So um, they had so a bunch of guys rush the stage. I'm looking for the spot here. Was, Actually, I got it. Hang on a second. Which was great. Uh-huh. Good. And so they did, they, they played those songs. And then uh, they crank into crowd favorite, of course, ACDC's TNT. TNT, yep. And uh, they go through that. And as they're going through it, some neo-Nazi is on the stage. Doing the Hitler salute. Doing the Hitler salute. Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. Thing. Right, And he was right at the front of the stage as well. Well, and he and the best thing about it, the, when you see the video, the best thing about it is that you have Ken's over on stage left. Yep. The Nazi's over on stage right. So Ken... It being, almost again, it, again, being the awesome guy that he is. It almost looked planned. The oh way yeah. It was. Oh, takes the bass off casually. Well, in, not so much casually as in a fit of anger, and just hands, hands and just, it to a fan. He yes, he hands it to a fan as if it's like, here, you play this for a minute. I gotta go take care of something, and then just you see him, and it's it's not. He doesn't run over. Mm. He doesn't. Wa- it's like a brisk walk. He did a power walk to the, yes. to, to stage right. <laughs> power walk, power, stage right, even power walk to punch. Yeah, I mean it was like it was he, like well, a video knocked, game. He, move. he gave him a, a, a like a a shove, a double double fisted shove, knocked the dude on his ass, and then just start throwing haymakers. Just wail. I mean, actually, was, I got it right here. You know what? <laughs> Here's Ken walking across. Yep. Knocks the dude right on his ass. <laughs> hands the guitar off. And he knocked him down with the guitar still yes, strapped. Yes, yes. Okay, you're right. Hands the guitar off to some chick, and she's kind of standing there like, what do I do? Do I do I, <laughs> do I play this do thing? I put the, do, she she like do tried I? to put it down. Then another kid picks the guitar up, and he's like, I got a guitar. <laughs> and then the roadie comes over, gets the guitar, and Ken is just oh, haymaker. <laughs> This is Al, Al Barr, their lead singer. Finally notices his, his bassist is beating the piss out of some dude. In the middle of TNT, Ken Case just beat the bag out of some guy. Where is it? Nobody stopped it. They're giving him his guitar back. That was great. Nazis are not allowed at a fucking dropkick that Murphy was, show. That was great. I Absolutely. Mean, and the, okay, so you watch this, and yes, I completely agree with Ken. Let me. If you're if you're gonna be up on stage like that and making an ass of yourself, right? And and you as a dropkick Murphys don't want to be associated with shit like that. No. Nope. Especially when you have Especially a worldwide because, uh, appeal. Like I said, it looked like the the the, the setup. It almost looked like the guy was part of the show. Yeah. And coming off the song, what was it Skinheads on the MBTA? Yeah. It doesn't help. Absolutely so, not. And they got Ken on stage left, the Nazi on stage right, Al's in the middle. It kind of looked like, and I'm sure that was kind of his thought, like, this, they, people are going to think we're fucking supporting this shit. Right. And, so and especially, and let's you know, put this to an end the, right the now. The funny thing is, too, is it's like, especially with the way we are as a society now, with, with camera phones yep. and with pictures everywhere, and, you know, these, TMZ would have grabbed it. The video it. we just played is not official. It was some dude up in some one of the, guy, the mezzanines. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself in your head, or celebrities now have to think, sure. you don't want this shit going out everywhere, because then someone grabs it, and next thing you know, like you said, Dropkick Murphys are neo-Nazis. Right. And then it just like it, it just just falls into the, into shit. It, it felt like uh, the, the the headline could have been very Scooby-Doo-ish. Oh. <laughs> Dropkick Murphys fight the Nazis. <laughs> You know, with yeah. the Harlem Globetrotters yeah. <laughs> and, and Scooby Doo and the drop kicks. Scooby Doo and the, the drop kicks. Oh, it's so fucking. It, it you see been Ken great. Casey just just hit Hitler with a bass? Yes. <laughs> oh, you damn nut. <laughs> you damn drop kicks. High skills element. Yeah. And then, of course, yes, uh, uh, Ken just beats the bag out of him. But now. Which is great because the funny thing is, is, is. Um, Ken is not a big guy. No, Ken's Ken's probably about five foot eight. 
and he's a very personable individual. He's, he's a very nice guy. I met him. I met him a couple times, and he's he's a sweetheart. He's a very he nice really guy. He really is. He's a he's a great guy, and uh, and just to see that happen. But you know, he's also he's a nice guy, but he seems to me like a no bullshit guy. Right. Like I'm gonna give it to you straight. This is what's gonna happen. Right. And you know that bands his livelihood, as as with all those other guys, he doesn't want anyone else fucking that up. Right. Especially you know, some douchebag. Some <laughs> asshole just like, oh, hey, you know, this is a great time to get up and do a Nazi salute. Like, fuck you, dude. And and whether this guy was an actual neo-Nazi or not, I mean, he could he could have actually been just some asshole with his friends videotaping him from the crowd. Watch this, I'm going to jump up on stage. Right. Like, right. it's going to be hilarious. Well, and that was that was the one thing that I never really understood still about the punk movement itself was, was the... Even even if you if, if you're not a Nazi, they're wearing the swastika with like, but it's crossed out. It's like why even wear it? Why publicize why, why it? Why open up back the in conversation? The yeah, yeah. I mean, the, you know, the Ramones did a lot of stuff with, uh, you know, Blitzkrieg Bop. Uh, they did a lot of stuff where uh, it was just a fun song though. It was a fun song, but it's like, <laughs> but like they had a lot of German influences in Nazi like themes, but they weren't Nazis. It's just it was really strange to me why it even started, and even the you know. Who knows? No one's offered me a, a good enough explanation as to why that you know. And the other person is, you know, Lemmy, but he con- collects World War II memorabilia. Oh, there's it always just that happens, excuse, isn't there? It just happens to be that some of that's Nazi stuff. Always that great excuse. I'm a World War II <laughs> enthusiast. Well, it's Lemmy, so I don't really give a shit. Well, absolutely, Lemmy for Pope. Yes, uh, even though they already got a Pope, Lemmy for Pope. Lemmy for Pope. Lemmy for Pope. But um, did you see uh, th- but, there's a new uh, uh, a trauma movie with Lemmy? coming out no. it's uh it's the the sequel to class of newcomb high and oh. L- L- lemmy's the president yes hey if tiny lister could do it lemmy can do lemmy it. lemmy for president why not why but, fucking not but getting back i i don't know why all of a sudden the, the the nazi thing has come out now because i don't know if you saw another report which was uh earlier in the week mm-hmm. i believe monday um monday. there was a uh soccer game going on it was Greece and uh, some other country. It was a, like a, a quarterfinal or a semifinal match. Or Soccer it, it, has always surprised me as being a very high emotion sport. Very high emotion. People it, die at soccer games. They are that is up. insanity. Now, <clears throat> now, add to the mix that this is a big game. This is a huge game. It's tied up, and the go-ahead goal was just scored. And the guy who scored it, this is the Greece, the Greek national team. Mm-hmm. The go-ahead goal is scored, and you figure what? You know, you want to celebrate. You see the celebrations. They run around. They tear the shirt off. This Boo, guy, Zalas. Yeah. Goal! This guy. This guy. Because there's one every three hours. Of course. Soccer sucks. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. This guy tears his shirt off, and the first thing he thinks to do, runs over in the corner, and he says he pointed to the crowd, but if you watch the video, uh-huh. Sieg Heil, oh, right really? there, right in front of the crowd. Really? And it's like, now, who, what do you do? And, and, and it was, it was this Greece was, and who? This was Greece and I can't remember the other team because, you know. Hopefully Germany. Since, <laughs> it would be really funny. It but makes sense, wouldn't since, it? Since, uh, you know, it was a Greeks, it was a Greek player yeah. who did the salute and the other team lost, no one's going to remember the other team right now. Sure. <laughs> but, um, so, and it's not like he just, he, he says he pointed to someone in the crowd. Now, if you watch the video... It's not like he just did it and then like the hand went down. No, he kept the teammates are jumping on him and he kept his hand straight out and just in that classic Nazi salute pose. And it's like Greek soccer player gets life ban over Nazi I salute. I was just going to get to that. Holy shit, a life ban from from what? From the na- from the national team. Oh. So he could he could play anywhere wherever else as long as they don't ban him as well, but from the Greek national team, he is banned from soccer for life. I'm trying to... Uh, so many words. <laughs> I know, and so many words that are funny sounding to yeah. you because it's uh, another country. I don't know. Uh, he Yeah, so he, he just but, he did a Nazi salute. But, but I mean, so are we going to start getting bombarded with Nazi things? Because now you have last what last Tuesday... There he is. Rip, last it, Wednesday, rips his shirt off. Runs, yeah. runs, runs. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 well, well, holy shit. And it wasn't, it, no, that wasn't his teammates. That was security beating the shit out of him. Was it? Oh, yeah. I thought it was his teammates jumping on him for the goal. No. <laughs> he, his arm flies up and then security is the ones. It looks like fucking the old Atlas security from ECW wow. jumping his ass. There you go. 
Yeah. But I mean, so you have you have now two... there, there, there goes fucking Spartacus taking off. <laughs> it's run, like run, it's, run, run, it's run, run, as run, if you're hey! watching. It's as if Boom. you're watching. Uh, it, it's it looks like you're watching. Um, That's all security right there. It looks like you're watching like a streaker go across the screen. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's the guy that scored the goal, and then all of a sudden, he. Why would you do that? I don't get it. And he says that he's not a Nazi, and he doesn't. He didn't realize that that was the thing. He's it's a like, World War II enthusiast, it's apparently. Like, <laughs> it's like, come on, how do you not know that the Nazis are the the epitome bad guy in in world history? Yeah, that's the go-to. That's the go-to. I mean, when when like I just said, our weeks. What like before we yes, even got into this yes. shit? I said our weeks are comparing Disney World to the Holocaust. That was that I mean, was, and it's said in jest, but it's like that's like that's, the go that's how that's how you right you you get it down to that. I mean, obviously, our weeks are not like the no, actual, but it's it's a it's a plan. I'm, a, I'm alive. I'm employed. Yes. I yes. don't I don't dig ditches for a living. Not there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> but I mean, it's the go-to. Like if you need to express that you're having a like a bad it's, week, it's or you need you just need to express bad. It's it's Nazism. It's, it's that's extreme what it is. bad is what it is, and you know Hitler is the go-to bad guy. Nazism is is the is, I don't even think that's a word, but yeah, you Nazism, know what I mean. Yeah. Is it Nazism? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I'm a smart it's guy. An, it's an ism. <laughs> I, but you know all of these things, I still can't find out who the fuck they're playing. <laughs> well, that's that's <laughs> the not other even... team doesn't matter. They didn't score. They haven't scored in a month. <laughs> But, but what I'm soccer. saying, but what I'm saying is like, is that are we gonna start getting bombarded with Nazi shit now? I don't think it's ever gone away though. Well, it's never gone away. Technically, it's it's been dormant ever since uh, American History X. Uh, not really. Not, not really. Not I'm really. just. I was, it was a terrible attempt at a joke. Uh, but you know, so you have two instances now within a week of themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, these I are mean, just and, and, but these they, public. But they instances. all. But they all like. You know, and with the West ba Westboro Baptist Church always around. Oh, it's those like, lovely people. You know, it's Jesus. and and you know the uh, the the big story of the week was the um, the Ohio rape case. Go on, I, like I said, it's been a bad week. I've been asleep most of it. You well, this was a while ago, okay. but the the verdict was coming down on the Ohio rape case. Did you hear about that case in general? I don't know. I mean, I, I might. I, I I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna have to Google it was, Ohio it rape. It was an awful. Awful story. Well, rape's never good. No, of course it's not. But this one, <laughs> this one is, you know, and, and it's like, it, it's for some reason it seems to always be happening now. As opposed to good. Right. It seems to be happening now, uh, and 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 it's like the uh, the foot the story of the football players and they're you know they're they're having fun. They're oh, getting Stuberville. drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I've, I've heard that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the you know of course the the verdict has come down, and the the two kids are. That are on trial or uh, internet. locked. Steubenville, Ohio rape victim threatened by, quote, mean girls. Oh, well, that's the new thing that just came out. Is that, is that, is that the mean girls, the quote unquote mean girls on Facebook yeah. are, are threatening the rapist? Threatening the, no, threatening the victim. Go on. So there. Because that's, an, oh, rape victim. I didn't read yes. that completely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's everyone would want to threaten the rapists. Mm -hmm. but Go on. They're they're threatening the victim with bodily harm and and uh, and um, mental uh, via break, Twitter, you know, via Twitter and Facebook. Well, that's, that's how that's, that's how we get our hate out. Well, now. honestly, that that's just people th not thinking, not, well, not realizing that that Twitter is fucking public, like worldwide public. And Absolutely. People think they're they're untouchable at this shit, and this is you know. I mean, we see it with celebrities all the time. They, they're constantly deleting tweets and or, having to explain tweets, or, or and, that they're hacked. I've been hacked. I have an alcohol problem. I was touched as a child. I, whatever the fuck their excuses are, they're all bullshit. Yeah. You thought it, you wrote it, you sent it out, and then you regretted it. We do it many times when we're drunk. Absolutely. Trust me. <laughs> has, have you seen the Mike and Billy page on Sunday nights? <laughs> Hashtag Mike is drunk. That's why Monday morning a lot of them are deleted. But. Why are you deleting them? Because my Twitter was hacked. <laughs> I'm not responsible for what other people say about me on the tw on my own Twitter page. Come on now, at Mike and Billy at Twitter. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's the same bullshit, and uh, and they just they don't understand how public it is. Like the past couple days, actually, it's been funny because there's a couple people on on, uh, on my Facebook feed who have been hilarious because apparently they're having the worst weeks ever. Mm. Oh, and they just want to unleash their Well, they just they want the attention though. And it boggles my mind because when they're they're typing this their their 
their sorrows, I guess, onto Facebook. I think to myself, why are you, like, you should be doing eight other things right now. Like, uh, the, the, this, this, this one chick, uh, I, was, I was reading her, her last night, her fucking timeline, apparently uh, flew to Florida, and uh, she was getting her shit at the baggage claim, mm -hmm. and she was taking the time to Facebook the fact that she was at baggage claim, because we all give a because shit. Because we, we, we need to we know needed where to you hear are that. at all We need all to times. know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not your loved ones. Don't need a phone call, but the rest of us yeah. need to know you're alive at yeah. Florida. Okay, great. In Florida. And uh, apparently somebody bumped into her. Dropped her iPhone, oh screen shattered, my God. screen shattered, and apparently she decided to make fuck a fuck my life. Try to make a phone call or something, and she got a cut on her face with a broken oh glass. Oh my God! Now this is all explained over five Facebook posts. Mm. My thought is, why weren't you like just trying to get into a cab? Or, yeah, why or don't you just get yourself doing together? Doing anything but posting on Facebook at that moment. Because people think that their lives are relevant and, and meaningful. And just reading something, it's like you it's would... like It's like they, they really feel like they have to post stuff on Twitter or Facebook or get their own podcast. And to answer the, to answer the question why I follow these people, this is why. Well, the funny because thing... It's, it, because last night I was exhausted. I was fucking spent during the overnight shift. And this was entertaining the shit out of me. I couldn't. I, I. It was one of those nights where I was sitting on Netflix, scrolling for an hour. Well, just that's looking, just every night. And I'm just like, I can't think of anything that, that's going to pique my interest. And then this broad has the worst night ever, and it just lightened me up. I'm like, this is great. This is wonderful. I, Your misery <laughs> is my enjoyment. I Thank just, you, Facebook. I just find it funny. You know, we we talk about that and the the sorrow and and whatnot. The the fake sorrow on fake Facebook sorrow, yeah. and Twitter. But instead, we have our radio show to, to broadcast our sorrow. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> At least we can count each person that's listening to yeah. us. <laughs> it's like, oh, do you, you know, I, I'm not, guys, look, I'm not interfering with your Twitter feeds or your Facebook no, exactly. feeds. exactly. But if you want to know what my day is At like, At least come our on therapy on the is show. under the guise of entertainment. <laughs> Yours is just weird on Facebook. It's like you... <laughs> I don't know. What do, you, do, do I like this? But I, yeah, that's and that's I cut my thing. face and I and I'm I'm think I'm dying. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's can awful. I unlike it to like it again? That's kind of one of those awful things. It's like like when people will post like horrible, horrible shit about their lives, and you have nothing to say, but you feel compelled to let somebody know you read it. And hey, like hey. is the only option. <laughs> hey man, I'm here for you. Like, I'm totally here for you. Like. Like, 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 oh, my dad passed away and, 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 you know, my cat got run over and, uh, well, I, I've contracted AIDS. Mm. I, I really need people right now. Super AIDS. Like, like, <laughs> like. what, what the fuck is that? That's, yeah. that's why we're going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. Well, you got the Steubenville, the you got the Steubenville rape. You've got Nazis overtaking everything and now you got people Steubenville liking rape, was this terrible just a, things. Just a random school rape or, or? It was uh, apparently, the, from what I, and I actually watched the video, which was of awful. Of the rape? No, it, it's, uh -oh. it's not of the rape. Bummer. No, stop it. That's what? terrible. Um, no, it's it's these kids uh, <laughs> bragging about it. They're bragging about oh. the thing. <laughs> I mean, and this is the other thing. This is the other thing that's 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 both, I find, Again, retarded it, it right about back these to people. The point. People the, don't think that this is going right. out to the world. Right. And this is the stupid thing about it is that. And and it shows the the dumbassedness of uh, uh, of the generation that is preceding us, or actually the generation we're all living in right now. The, the fifteen-year-old allegedly tweeted she would beat the shit out of the rape victim, and apparently apologized later on Twitter. Right. Yeah, you can't do that. Well, but well, I guess you can't saying, do that. But I'm I saying mean, this is this is this is this is, what, this this is, is coming from me... this this is coming from the same case that the kids fucking YouTubed. The, the shit that they were going to say, and what happened was is that, God, I missed all that the girl was raped. They, they were like, she was drunk and drugged, I believe, dragging her from party to party. Then they got to this house. They, a bunch of guys like raped her there, uh -huh. like, I think two or three guys or something like that. Okay. And then she's passed out in the other room. And the, the video, if you watch it, and it is kind of sick. It's 15 minutes long of this oh kid, God. this kid just doing these jokes, terrible jokes, over and over. Uh, she's, you know, that girl. There's no way she's alive. She's dead. She's deader than, and like, you know, deader than Michael Jackson, deader than this. And it's like, 
and he just keeps going, and they think it's fucking hilarious. Of this kid's laughing, and yeah. he thinks he's a fucking stand-up comedian. Sure. And you see these. There's other kids in the background. This is the other problem with with this world. Is like you see other kids in the background, and they're like. So this girl that, was dead the other night. How uh, dead was yeah, she? Yeah, exactly. That's that's what <laughs> they were doing. And then these fucking other idiots in the back, and it's like, you know, you don't realize you're just as bad. They're like, hey, man, that's not funny. You really shouldn't say that. I think we should do something about this. And then they don't do anything about it. And they just fucking leave this girl. Did they take a moment girl. to chug a Smirnoff ice, or is that old? Uh, I think I think Am they, I out of touch with that one? You know what? They, uh, it might have been a Zima. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Go old school. Maybe a Mike's hard. I don't know. So it was throwback Thursday, apparently. Right. Obviously. Um... But it's like, and then and then the the other worst thing, and, and it's and it's comes down to almost the uh, like a, a similarity to the Penn State thing. It was like yeah. the same town is like trying to protect their football players. Oh, these are football players. These are football. They're high school football. They're trying to protect them and say, oh, there's no way cool that they Buckeyes. should be. It's like, come the fuck on, get now, a clue I, no, in I'm life. 15, 16, These aren't college kids. These no, are they, high school. they're high school kids. High school. Oh, okay. Again, this is it's absurd. What whatever fucking seventh level of hell that we <laughs> crawled into and we can't seem to get out. I mean, we up here have have, no. have snow just coming out the wazoo, and then you just. Reach further down into the levels of hell, and there's fucking Steubenville. Really puts perspective on my bad snow day <laughs> over here. Um, Can we talk about something happy? No. No. I'm still trying. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what possibly why they why they were um, excuse me why they were threatening the victim. Because again, this why, is, why were the mean girls attacking the victim? Because I'm sure that those mean, the mean girls wanted to be the ones getting raped. No, I'm sure those mean girls are friends with the football players uh -huh. or dating one of the football players uh -huh. or... So you've just been raped, now I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Right. Because because that makes complete logical sense. All right. In the in the, uh, in the the vast safari that is the mean girls so world. So do we segue from mean girls into Lindsay Lohan, seeing as which is a nice little connection? <laughs> Six degrees of horse shit. Um, this, is, this is becoming the horse shit. Uh, show it really is because uh, she, she's been she's got a, a brand a brand new uh, glamour shot out this week. And she's also got a brand new jail sentence. That's you know, well, it, well, it's uh, <laughs> it's like lockdown rehab or some such horseshit for like it's ninety such, days. It's such crap. It's the pandering. Fact, the fact it's that, that we we pander to her no matter what. It's like whether she does good or what it, or whether and it's not just her. It's celebrities in general. But mm -hmm. like we either want to see them on the road to redemption. Or just broken down completely and then ended up dead. And I think we did we did this a while back about the whole uh, she needs to be locked in a hole for like years, they like Robert Downey all, Jr. They all do, every yeah. single one of them. They're not going to learn anything until you actually mm. fucking punish these people. No, actually send them to jail. And you look at and like I said, you look at people like uh, Robert Downey Jr. who went went to jail, didn't didn't take the eleven day sentence, nope. didn't take the thirty minute in did and his out. Time, did his went time. Did his time. Into the hole. Did his time, came out, and now he's fucking Iron Man. He's not a joke anymore. But that's you know that's just someone that can put life into perspective. Right. All these other celebrities and, and these celebrities of these days, and I barely call them celebrities because I was I was I happened to see uh, uh, what was it like one of those E things or something last night. True and, story. Uh, no, no, <laughs> and uh, you know they're they're reviewing the new the new Dancing with the Stars. Every single person on there, other than Andy Dick and. That uh, Olympics uh, chick. I say I don't even know who the hell that she oh, is. She's come through here a couple times. Sure, whatever. She was the one that was uh, Twitter banging Tyler Sagan. Oh yeah, Al Al Allie, Allie Raisman. Raisman. Yeah. Um, but other than Andy Dick and uh, like that Twitter banging. Yes. Going into Webster's. Thank you. And uh, Ashley Judd. I knew no one oh, on I didn't there. Know that one. Yeah. I, she I, been? I only know, well I don't know, but I only remember the name. I can't yeah. even think of the last thing she did. But it's like you know. We use these things like these terms like and we've done this before on this show. Yeah, yeah. Stars and celebrities. Right. I'm sorry. Mike the situation is not a fucking celebrity. No, Mike Went is a celebrity. Thank you for giving me the dramatic pause. <laughs> but you know, all these all these people Snooky is not I'm sorry, they're not a celebrity. A fucking celebrity is Jack Nicholson. A fucking uh celebrity is I'll you know, a demi Moore. Earn uh, your spot is all I'm saying. Right. Earn your spot. I'm sorry, the Octomom is not a celebrity. Any of us She's can, a any of us can show up, get drunk, and do stupid shit. Do something I can't do. Yeah, do something, that I, do something that I can't see yeah. in Boston on a Saturday night. I mean, 
seriously, that's what it is. But you're you really know, trying to shoehorn that wicked single thing. The fact that we didn't do the wicked single show tonight. I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad. Oh, we I'm didn't. so glad we didn't. I'm glad we decided to to not do that. I'm glad we didn't pay off that fucking tease. But because all I've read about that is. Shit, shit, yeah. shit, 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 yeah. shit. Yeah. Except for the people who were trying to kiss ass to the production companies, like was, like was, local actors. Hey, I was, love local actors. It, it, it was I the complete. We could single v, hashtag VH1, and it was hilarious. It was hashtag the complete, VH1. The complete fucking opposite of Wicked Pissa. Oh, this fucking sucked. It was Wicked Shitty Guy. It was stupid. The chicks weren't even hot, so there's nothing to watch. Well, there were there were Boston Tens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well put. I but, like that. Hashtag Boston Tens. But, uh, you know, getting back to it, these quote-unquote celebrities, yeah. they're not going to learn anything unless you fucking send them to prison. Do no. it. Do yeah. it. But no, we can't hurt anyone's investments. And they got so many fucking lawyers out there that ruin ruin the world for everyone. It's rapists and lawyers well, it's ruining the world. It's overcrowding a bit. I mean, that's kind of playing into it. That's. I mean, isn't that the official reason why they, they literally walk in and out of jail? What? Overcrowding? No, mm-hmm. it's because they got it, it's because they got the money to pay a great lawyer to to just say, oh, we'll plea bargain it. It's no way it's overcrowding. That's what I've heard. The prisons have been overcrowded for years. I'm extremely uninformed about all this stuff, <laughs> but that's what I've heard. No, it's crap, 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 crap. Okay. crap. Hashtag so crap. Hashtag crap. So they need to want to be in jail, is what you're saying? No, someone needs to want to send them to jail instead of being because those judges are, I'm sure, getting starstruck and uh, oh my god, I got. Hey, I got Lindsay Lohan in my in my chambers today, or I got fucking who, who's another known rule breaker of the the celebrity world? Uh, Paris Gabor. Hilton, <laughs> Zsa Zsa Gabor. Isn't she down to like one leg at this point? No arms, one she, leg. I honestly think she's, she's just falling apart. I honestly think she's just uh, a couple eyelashes and um, kids. Google her because couple, I'm not gonna explain who the fuck and, she is. And a, and a couple of uh, um, like blue mascara lines. <laughs> That's it. It's like uh, it's like it's like the the last known human on Doctor Who. She well, wa- she yeah. wakes up and they hit her with a, a spray gun of paint. It's like okay, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, nobody's gonna see you. You're fine. Flip. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's like um, that terrible movie with uh, Bruce Willis, uh, Meryl Streep, and Goldie Hawn, where they were dead. Oh, the. But- Death I, becomes I her. Yeah. Death becomes her, and they and they were like they were dead, and they were falling apart, but they had to keep like spray painting themselselves to look normal. Why did you they have to undead. bring that back up? What? Why? Act? We've I, never I, talked about that. Yeah, but the, the fact that that's back in my head now, all I could see is now you're gonna go uh, rent it on VHS, <laughs> right? No, I, honestly, I was just gonna say all I can remember about that movie because I've seen it on television before, but all I can remember about it is like walking through Blockbuster, and then that for some reason that image pops out my head where it's the two women on the yep. and and I think their heads are turned around of course and the, they're dead. and they and they're in and they're in backless it's hilarious. they're in backless robes right, uh, cause, backless cuz they were sexy at it's 50 it's black and red <laughs> and will is it's like what the hell why is this why is this back in my and mind and sitting there with his rent check <laughs> 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 Fucking death because comes a right in between Die Hard with a Vengeance. <laughs> because because Hudson Hawk didn't really pay off. Hudson Hawk's a great fucking movie. Kill yourself if you don't think so. <laughs> it's like comedy. Central don't really miracle. take my advice and kill yourself. You know, go just do it. I don't care if you take my advice. <laughs> Please do not kill yourself. Uh, you know what? Natural selection. <laughs> don't worry. Hudson Hawk's a great movie. So all right. Natu- natural selection is being Frank sl- Stallone. Nat, shut up. Natural selection is being killed off. By our wonderful medical marvels. Showing the range of David Caruso without saying one line in the whole movie. Uh, That's his acting ability. Don't oh, speak, David. I can't David. believe we're still talking about this. Don't speak, David. Please, next topic. Got something better? Next topic, Got please. something better. Please. <laughs> Anything else. Oh, Christ. Uh, fuck, man. You had all this time at the bar. Well, I got, think like about I said, things. I've been entertaining myself with fucking Twitter and Facebook. With Twitter and Facebook and and and, and basketball douchebags. Oh, I hate. It. Oh my god. Enough. I get it. You like the sport. Stop <laughs> yelling in my ear. Seriously, I I I, I swear to you, this is why I, I had to do errands the other day, and it was like reason number fifty-seven why I don't leave the house. Hmm. I just. I, get, I know you have way more reasons than fifty-seven. Well, this is number 57 oh, number, of, okay. you know, oh, of quite like, a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A quintillion. Yeah. <laughs> um, just, I can't be bothered with bullshit. 
It's just you're dealing with traffic and people. And I had to drop something off uh, f- for uh, for Denise. And I was at this office, and I opened the door, and this big fucking dog starts barking. Mm-hmm. And, of course, everybody has the same reaction. Oh, he's a pussycat. He's a, he's a. I'm like, yeah, well, when you're not expecting a big dog to come barking in your face, I don't care how friendly he is. He scares the piss out of me. Now, I'm a dog person. I love fucking dogs. But You love fucking dogs? Yes. Phrasing. But. You love fucking dogs' butt? Yeah, phrasing. <laughs> Also, <laughs> um, yeah, scared the shit out of me, and I, and, I, and the people at the office were trying to like, you know, because they work with Denise, and they were tr- they had never met me before. At least they thought they had, and apparently I make that much of an impression. I'm, I'm sure they they've met me they, a couple times. They just don't remember. I'm sure they wish they never met you. Now yeah, I would hope so. See, that's that's the thing, though. I hope that. I don't want to meet people. I don't like meeting people. I don't like interacting. I hate fucking small talk. That's my problem. Okay. I don't. I you don't. S- you totally sound like Dennis Leary right there. Sorry. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I don't see a point to it. Like the small talk. Small talk. Well, totally. But what else are you gonna do? Just sit there in silence? Yes. You. You are a miserable human I being. I relish in the awkward silences. Relish it. I used to love doing it. Um, when I was when I was working on the morning show, they would never introduce me to guests, so I was always like, just sitting there, very awkwardly, like inches away from the person's face. <laughs> That's awful. Like we just talked about somebody coming in who we we shouldn't give a they're shit not about. Even, they're not even D list or E list. No, no. They're, they're, they're not even. They're not even on the they're list. They're flavor of the minute. Right. Plain and simple. 15 minuters. Yes. And they come in and they're trying to get the royal fucking treatment. And I'm not going to pander to that bullshit. No. So if they don't introduce me, I'm just going to sit there staring awkwardly. I mean, honestly, the, the, if you're going to meet us, if you meet an actual celebrity. It's unless, like you're coming into my work. You unless, introduce yourself to me. Well, yes. But unless they're freaking absolute royalty, like a Jack Nicholson or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They most likely want to be treated like a human being. You know, it's like if you want to introduce yourself, go ahead and introduce yourself. Right. But don't don't pander to bullshit. You're not. No, no one's better than you. Right. You know, and that's that's what I hate about celebrities and and quote unquote celebrities. It's like it you're not better worse. than we, me. We would have celebrity wives in. And that's that's another thing. It's like the the Real Housewives and all that shit. All and those I'm, reality like, television. And everybody's kind of doting over them. And I'm just saying, like, what are you, you guys are making yourselves. What look do bad. they do? What do they do in this society? They don't entertain me, certainly. They fuck the right guy. Is what I, they that's did. That's all it is. That is all it is. And most of most of the time, it doesn't even take that. They got knocked up by the right guy. Is usually what it takes. True. It's like, oh shit. You're on easy street. Shit. Because because you know what? Either you're staying with that guy and he's paying for everything. Or you're or not, you're di- he's paying for everything. Or you're divorcing him, and he's paying for everything. <laughs> That's all it is. That's really all it is. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, the talk about, let's talk about neutering a little bit. Okay. How about this? All right. Because I just pulled up a news story. I, I was wondering I, what you were doing over there. I thought you might enjoy- well, I was stalling. I thought you might enjoy this one. Go on. Headline. British man to get new penis created from forearm tissue. I think I saw that same story this morning. <laughs> I, I Is literally this the guy with a two-inch dick? Okay. Li- no, no, no. Listen, listen. Oh, listen. okay. Okay. Oh, no, that's a different story. I'm going to read this out. These are the things we read in the morning, by the way. We got, we got neutered man and, and two-inch dick man. A British man. A British man born without a penis. Oh, is, okay. Is preparing to go under the knife in a surgery that would create a functioning penis using skin and tissue taking. How old is this guy? Taking from his arm. Mm-hmm. A 39-year-old from London who was born with, oh, I did read this. with yeah, testicles ahead. but without a penis and with an ectopic bladder, ectopic bladder, meaning, meaning it formed outside of his body. Ooh. Growing up, he had kidney problems. It's like Quato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very quato A little bit. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he knew a. Quaid, I, I wonder if he grow knew a, the penis. I wonder if he knew a chick with three breasts. <laughs> Growing up, he had kidney problems and infections, no and shit. underwent 15 operations to build a tube from his bladder so he could urinate. So, in none of those 15 operations, did they ever think, "Hey, Dick? <laughs> hey, Dick? Would you like a dick? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna attach a fucking fire hose to your your stomach here. Okay, but no dick." 
So it says, here's a quote from him. I <laughs> The fact that they use this quote and open it up with, quote, I never thought this day would come. I still can't believe it is possible for me to actually have a fully functioning penis. At 40? At 40. What are you going to do? You're pretty much... You, Game over, pal. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. What, what's the point? Congratulations. You can masturbate for the next 60 years. <laughs> I don't even know if he's going to get 60 out of it. Well, the fact that he might not be in the he running... He sounds like a medical wouldn't. marvel here. Apparently. And they're going to want to keep this guy alive because of the investment on his supercock. So <laughs> they're going to at least keep him around until 80, maybe 90 years old, just so they can say, hey, look what we created. Oh, yeah. He'll be, he'll be being tested on it, for It's worked for, for 40 years. years. Now, okay, this brings me to a, a question for you. Yes. Say you, yourself. Me. You. Mm -hmm. Were unfortunately born without a penis. Yeah. What body part would substitute if they could surgically make a penis for you? What body part would you would you take from? Would you? Oh, it'd have to be arm or leg. <laughs> I'm just thinking mo most skin mo available, oh, most okay. skin and muscle muscle tissue. Because I know I know that there have been I know that there have been s uh, stories. I'm sorry, that wasn't very funny. <laughs> I thought well, no, because you said arm or leg. I thought wow, so you just take your whole. I thought you were going to oh, do that. Oh, is that old what joke. you meant? Wh which, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, then I would go nose. You <laughs> is that joke funnier? No, because the the reason why I'm asking is because I know that there's been there's been other uh, penis construction surgeries uh, done with um, I believe We're one of them. Very versed in this knowledge. Because you, Are read you ready to share something, Mike? Yes, Billy. Can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> you remember Robocock? <laughs> <laughs> you... <laughs> You remember that scene uh -huh. in Dogma? Yes. Alan Rickman, when, when he pulls when his Alan pants down. Rickman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he's, cons yeah. consider me a Ken doll. No. Nice. Um, but I have, I, you know. It eliminates so many problems, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does. You know. Uh, but, you know. You're not in the mood? I can't even be in the mood. <laughs> but seriously, though. <laughs> You, I, I just search oddly odd news, and Trade I've seen up. things. Shut Cock up, picks. cockpicks. <laughs> I, I've, but I've, I've read reports about other people that either had had either accidents or born without, and they've. Well, I, guess, uh, I mean, John Wayne Bobbitt's like, the famous well, one. Well, yes, but they've attached, but they attached his back. This is people yeah. who don't have it or lost it or whatever. Something happened. They're where it creating got mangled. that that is not there. Yes. Yes. Someone used either, it was either a thumb, no, I don't think it was a thumb. I think it might have been uh, a toe. Ew. And this is... Put that in your shoes. And this, and this is primarily for, uh, you know, evacuation purposes. I'd want to get so those, I don't think guys, it's for, those doctors from Face Off. I just want his face. They, they, where they created, uh, you know, the ears and all that stuff in, in yeah, like that's, a, yeah, a that's, bowl. Yeah, that's not going <laughs> to happen. get a Petri dish with your little yeah, that's, yeah, that's ear. <laughs> well, what was it, Futurama... They or were, on they South, South Park, they attached the penis to the back of the rat. <laughs> well, yeah, it, that's what it was. It was South Park. Yeah, the and and uh, <laughs> Mr. Garrison was chasing his dick around South Park all episode. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need my penis back. Oh, you got another news report that kind of goes along with this. Go on. But yes, uh, to, 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 to be serious about it, I take it from my... I mean, the leg... The see, leg would I mean, probably be the best. A, you got enough leg meat the and muscle down yeah. in the leg to make a, to make a... I got enough to make a couple dicks out of this one. You're just walking on dicks. Yeah, I really am. Got, I am a walking got, bag of dicks. You got, you got a leg full of dicks there. What do you want? A, a dick just or a thigh? Rubbing my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Makes lap dances easier, don't they? Ooh, well. Ooh, well. Now I piqued your interest. Hey. Hey, can we just attach some tendons onto this Looks bitch? Looks like we're taking this show on the road. Montreal, here we come. What, what do you have a cast? No. <laughs> That's all me. Hey. Hey, baby. Is that a cast had, in your leg, or are you just happy to see me? I had to wrap it all the way around my leg. Oh, no, wait. It is my it leg. It is my leg. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go on. Attached story? Talk about the hokey pokey on that one. Very good, Billy. Sorry. Very good. Slow clap on that one. Shut up. Because I'm, I'm on the slow bus today. That's all right. Do men and women have sex for different reasons? Yes. <laughs> I don't even want to read this. Yeah. I just yeah. it's headline we like do. why this is ob an obvious just grab for attention. Okay. Anyway. 
I don't, I don't really You're care. You're not going to read it? No, I don't really oh, okay. care about it. Well, let's hang on a second because I really got to piss. Ah, you son of a Sorry, bitch! Sorry, I'm holding it since we got in here. <laughs> I know those dick stories. I got another story. Erased from existence. Oh, God. All right, we're... Where most shows would go to music, we just come back now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a 10-100 for you smoking the band fans out there. My, wow. my, my bladder was about to jump on the outside of my body. Oh, yeah? yeah? So you had to empty the leg? I really did. Just stuck the whole thing right in there. Yeah, well, it was like quite, a, quite a few hours at the bar. Sorry, I had a bunch of beers at the bar, oh. since that's the cool way to talk now. Are you, are you going to be on Wicked Single soon? Hopefully. God, I could use the work. <laughs> You need more work. That's that's your entire nightlife right there. I do, yeah. You wouldn't even be able to come back here. Well, I don't, I don't really have a personal life, so that would be kind of, you know, mm. fun little escape. I go party with some good people, obviously. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, they look fun. So. Bunch of fours. <laughs> <laughs> They're a Boston 10 guy. Yeah, sure they are. Go on. So, you What'd know, you find? We, we both enjoy movies. We do. How about a, how about a real life reenactment of a, a famous Tommy Boy scene? Police okay. officers, police officers in Kalamazoo, Michigan, were shocked when they opened a vehicle's trunk to find a live deer jump out. <laughs> Apparently, the driver of said vehicle hit the deer and thinking it was dead and not wanting to let all of that good venison go to waste, put the animal in his trunk to take home. Mm -hmm. The deer, however, was just knocked out, and when police opened the trunk, hopped out and ran back off, into the natural habitat. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, nothing like good old venison. Never had it. What venison's very good. I've heard that. It's it's tough, but it's good. But like it's it's very uh, chewy. Chewy. Gotcha. I guess. Gotcha. Um. But what kind of like weird redneckian thing to do? I mean, I guess, I guess around here, you no one would ever think to do that unless you're a hunter around here. Oh, we got too many things to do. We are, yeah, we are far too busy. Oh, my God. Well, we got to clear off Being all the big snow. big city people here we in Boston. Clear, we gotta, there's too much snow to clear. <laughs> we got too many, too many other things to do. We got, we got Facebooks to update. And, Seriously? Uh, and, uh, you know, taxes Hitting to Hitting a hail deer is just really an inconvenience hit, yeah, in my day. It's, it's just slow. And really, there's no way we could hit a deer at any time because we're all pretty much in fucking traffic at all times. <laughs> so it's like the de 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 this is a perfect place for deer to hop out because you could hop right across deer cars. Deer in Boston, deer hit us. <laughs> we don't hit in deer. <laughs> in socialist Boston. <laughs> Thank you for getting where I was going. <laughs> I know I know, fans out there, Yaka Smirnoff. It's Soviet Russia, but this is socialist Boston. Because we're under Obama's rule, so it's socialist Boston. Mm -hmm. See where I'm going there? I, I see where I was, you're going. I was bringing us up to I a, see where you're going. I was bringing us up to a political... I, I want to be... me for president. I, I want to I be on that level of Jon Stewart. Yes, you know? yes. That was pretty much... That was it. Jon Stewart is, is real news, apparently. Well, he's more real news than Fox News. Hey, now. Taking a stance, are we? You Okay, you want to talk about... Fucking news stories. Somebody watches the news, apparently. Uh, no, I don't, because I'd rather not be depressed for my life. <laughs> the world is an awful, awful place, and but, the only type of news you should hear is right here on the Mike Amelia Show. The, but the way that, okay, we want to bring it back okay. to the, the, the depression that was uh, um, the Stupidville rape thing. Yes, I always want to bring it back to rape. <sighs> Go on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset my Google settings here to back to rape. You would... <laughs> You would have to you would have to look this up because I can't remember it off the top of my head and I don't okay. want to go searching online. I will. But all the news stories, all the news outlets out there, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, every single one of them, painting the victim of the rape, you know, uh, in, in a in a bad light. So, you know, the allegedly drunk girl or the uh, you know, saying that uh, uh, the it's, it's their the high school football players promising football careers could be threatened because of this rape. That's how they were spinning these stories on these huge news sites right. like Fox and like CNN. Despicable. Right. Well, what kind of future did she have? Oh, well, no one cares about that. Because uh, they had football careers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, because that's that is the number one job. Well, what was she going to do? Be a football wife? I, I guess so. Clearly well, she's well, on her way. Well, what else can she do? She's just a woman, apparently. Right. She's just some some girl. She can't. She can't. 
throw a pigskin 50 Look, yards. While you're out there getting raped, these dishes aren't being cleaned. You're not making me my sandwich. Exactly. That's what that's what they're saying. Exactly. It's unbelievable. And what what news organizations are we pissing off today? <laughs> CNN. Uh huh. Fox News. Right. I want to say it was MSNBC, but those top two were the definite. What about CNBC? Because they're kind of uppity. They all suck. Yeah. They're all terrible. Especially when they have to put the uh, the hockey Olympics on CNBC, and you don't know where the fuck that is on the goddamn cable. Well, that's like that's like trying that's like to putting find it on Universal HD. That's yeah, the, thank you, that's... Channel Nine Hundred and Sixty Two. <laughs> that's like trying to find my TV. Yeah. Oh, great. Ion, thanks WWE. <laughs> You're never gonna that? get me to watch fucking main event because I don't know what the hell Ion is. Do you really want to watch it? No, but I want to check it on Gick Lou. You don't even know what that is, do you? No. I get stickers. What the fuck is that? It's a childish you get thing. Stickers? Yeah, they send stickers. You are lame. I really am. This is what I do, though. You are one Pokemon collection away from being. Oh, come on. Racist. Did, uh, geek is a race? No, it was an Asian thing, wasn't it? No. I'm not going the Asian route, though. I was. You brought it to the Asian route. <laughs> I was. I'm sorry that you went down the yellow brick road. <laughs> wow, very oh! good, Bill. Oh! <laughs> and the racism is back. Oh, uh, they eat dog. The, I never said that. That's terrible. I was just making a stupid pun. I hear it's delicious. Dog? Sure. I just read a report that um, apparently mm. horse is much better for us than cows, but we just don't eat horse. Fucking Mr. Ed. Fucked it all up for everybody. Seriously. Who if, gives if a only they had a, a nice sitcom back in the 50s of a cow. We wouldn't Maybe be eating the cow. Be having... Maybe the Indians have it right. Maybe. The actual Indians, not the Native but, Americans. See, that's the thing, though. Let's, for a second. They're worshipping something that can't produce anything for us. What do you mean? Like, what can a cow do? A cow can't go to fucking work. It gives you milk. But do, but do they, are they allowed to take milk? I know they're not allowed to eat the cows. Oh, 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 the Indians themselves. Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. I thought, I thought you were saying us what, as in us as in what? us as a society. No, 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 them, them, them. Not us, them. We're walking the <laughs> line here. We're walking a line before we say you people. Um, you just said it. I just did, didn't I? Shit. Um, Dump. I don't, I, no, I, I believe. I mean, cow, they, they, I believe the way it goes, I believe the way it goes is nothing, it, the cow is a sacred animal, right. and I don't think that they have So they anything. can't take milk from them. I don't think there's any dairy at all. So, and they can't but have what's cheese. what's the point? And, actually, no, what is the point? At least we worship a fictitious god. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just that it's a sacred animal, that's not their god. Might as well be. They have many it's taking gods. up enough space. It is a poly polytheistic If it takes religions. up that much space in your brain that you yeah. have to worship it, what the fuck, man? At least put it to work. Well, it probably does. What does it do? Know. What does it do? What's it produce? It can't do your taxes. Huh? It can't produce comical radio programs like this one. This is comical? Fuck you. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta sell it, Billy. You gotta sell it. <laughs> they won't believe it unless we say it. We are we are really stretching to try to get sell. anyone to listen out there. Sell, Billy. We're going... We're we're going with current events. Yeah, we've got religion. We had a little personality into it. There was, there was a, a personal stories a from, slight, from us. A slight slight dip into politics. Mm -hmm. Pro wrestling. Yeah, movies. Movies. We haven't done music. No, probably won't. Probably won't. Well, no, we did. We did drop kicks. This, the, we did the, drop kicks. Oh, there you go. Okay. Go no, on. If no one listens after this, it's ritualistic suicide. On might as well be. <laughs> I mean, Jesus 90. Christ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a good place to vent. I don't care. Why not? But, it's therapy for us. But um, I don't get to yell at my girlfriend like this. <laughs> I'm so glad I get to be your yelling girlfriend. You are. You're my punching bag, Billy, and I'm yours. That's the type of relationship we have. Uh, I, I don't take that good of a punch. I'm sorry. Well. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very compact it's, punching it's bag. It's more of a verbal abusive relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do that. See, I don't actually tune you up physically. <laughs> I just I just fill the sack with oranges and mentally beat you. Uh, they don't leave no bruises. Hey, there's no br I'll fill a whole bag full of Twinkies. Yo, How's that? Yo, shut your mouth or I'll fucking smack you with an orange. <laughs> but to get to get back to your point, uh Who has and, that many oranges to fill a fucking what are you, sack? Why with? are we still on the oranges? <laughs> hey, do you know? Because it's true, people do it. People beat their wives with oranges. I, I I would not. You've know never that. heard that. Nope. You've never heard filling a sack with oranges. I have I have heard about Google that I shit. I have I have heard and read about 
doctors using uh, other body parts for penises, <laughs> but I have not. I have not read the website that says that men actually use oranges. Yeah, to it's. It's. Be uh, I believe wives. it's www.goonarm.com. Carm. Fuck me. Speaking of, speaking of oranges, did you know yes. that if you say the word gullible slowly, it sounds like oranges? I read your Facebook. <laughs> Damn. And you didn't get me the first time either. I got a couple of people, though. Did you really? I did. No, like legitimately. I did. Fucking dummies. <laughs> Who are you friends with? We need to re reevaluate that They're shit. They're fun people. Right. I'm friends with you. Simple people are fun. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Yeah. I didn't say that. That's what you said. You just put those words in my Simpletons mouth. Simpletons are fun in, in Billy's case. I can't believe you just said that to my friends. <laughs> Billy takes advantage of his mentally disabled friends. Oh, I hang out with you. I have a radio show with a mentally That's disabled friend. It's true. Friend. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't form those sentences good. <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> I, uh... Getting back to your fucking point. Where were we going with this? We were, we were on... We were discussing the Indian religion. Yes. And cows. I have not been up to date with my Indian religion in a Shit. long time. I'm counting since, on you for since, this type of since bullshit. Since my college days and my psychedelics and, and George Harrison. Uh, yeah. But, uh, no, I don't believe they use anything. So, yeah, I... So, the, so there's the, got to the be a story, dude, and there's a reason to it. And, hey, everyone has a reason for something. And, it, it's just so silly. Well, it's silly to you. But it again, is it's, silly to me. It's silly to you, but, again, for, uh, for them, it's silly for you to... Be, Ancient weapons and Oki religions. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> but okay, but the uh, the the Indian people could say the same thing to you about well, why do you why do you believe so much in the Bruins? Well, that's a physical being. Do they? But do they? The cow is a physical being, right? Do they produce anything for you? Wins, and a Stanley Cup, and one of the greatest days of my life. But, but do those wins? June fifteenth, two thousand eleven. But could you? Great day. Could you go about your day without that? Yeah. You could. I I do it for most of the okay. months of the year. I mean, hockey season's only so many months. I'm and just... then I go into a deep depression for the rest of the summer <laughs> while you assholes talk about fucking Red Sox. But they don't re but they don't really produce anything for you. They produce they enjoyment. Produ they it's, produce no, it's, dopamine. It's a, it's it, it, endorphins. That, that's not a great that's not a great argument because uh sports by and large is is like uh, entertainment. Okay. Right. They don't, they don't, it's not like they, the cows put on a show. Oh, I'm trying to think of a better. And I'm not a very religious person, so you're, you're not going to be able to personalize no, I, this I, with I, me. No, believe me, I know that. Yeah. Well, I'm not a very religious person Right, either. so it's not like we can personalize this this whole topic, so it's kind of. Mm, yeah. Put a pin in it? Okay. Let's put a pin in that. All right. Save that one for another day. Yeah, we'll, 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 hey, we'll we'll we'll, we'll re, uh, circle back. That's what I was trying. Any to think of you, of. any of you out there listening in on uh, iTunes or Stitcher or over in India or Spreaker sure. or over in India? Yeah, please, I'd love to be informed. Please tell me these. What's things. the deal with these cows? That was Jerry Seinfeld. Really? Yeah, fuck you. Really? Yeah, I'm working on them in the I shower. I told you. Oh. Again, it was with, great. With I, the... I had a whole conversation. It was Dice and Jerry and and Rodney. They were all in the shower with me. This is the last time you get lubed before a show. Without you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the trick. Oh. It's the sober guy talking to the drunk, and nobody likes that situation at all. <sighs> it's been, but by and large, it's been a shitty fucking news week. I think it that, has. I think that's, that's why this show is going the way it's going. Well, yeah. Because I've been trying. I've been really, like, every day looking at the prep and just looking at the well, news and shit, and it's just like... And there's yeah. really, there's Harrison really nothing Ford else. saying he's still going to be in the next Star Wars is the biggest thing in my life right now. And personally, I just don't care right now. No, because it, they keep saying it. Like, every week, there's another story of either uh, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, or Harrison Ford saying, yeah, we're going to do it. It's like, yeah, we're great. The studio hasn't said shit. Well, and It's just that people what seem I, to want to keep interviewing them. What I read that is that Lucas spoiled it at first because he said, they're all back. And then he said, oh... I wasn't supposed to say anything. Well, he said the same. He's he's basically in the same boat they are at this point because Di now Disney owns it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has about as much influence over it as Harrison Ford has over right. it. He doesn't have casting choices anymore. He uh, he's a, like a consultant basis type of thing. But saying yeah, I had a conversation with them and they're interested to do it. That's wonderful. I'm interested to do it too. <laughs> I'll I'll do it. I, who does? Why isn't anybody coming to me? Yeah, I'm going to be in the next Star Wars. I'm affordable. Print it. Completely. Get an AP wire on that one. What do you Mike need? Mike went in the next Star Wars. 
Yeah. It's going to be good. You could be the next Jar Jar Binks. I'm going to get a lightsaber. <laughs> hey, guys, give me a lightsaber. Got a lightsaber. I'm going to cut a pizza with a lightsaber. Can it be black and gold? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You're gonna pull like a Sam L thing. It's gotta be purple. You know, you know who did, motherfucker. Uh, you know who did come out. Of course, he did uh, come out and say he wanted. He was, he was politicking to be in the next Star Wars. I've heard a couple people who you. Uh, the the world renowned thespian Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I saw that. Yes. <laughs> what it was in between uh, Hallmarky inspirational tweets. Uh, he also came out and said he wanted to be in something. Else. Oh, the expand the Expendables, Expendables three. Three. Yeah. He wants to be in. Why not? I do too. Just whore that name out well, as I much do, as you can. I do too. The Rock. He's, he's Dwayne. Yeah. The part time champion. G.I. Joe. What a crock of shit. You know your movie's bad when you have to reshoot it around Channing Tatum. That is that unbelievable. Because unbelievable. You that have they did to that. reshoot was, your, your action was supposed, movie was based on a male stripper it success. Was scheduled, it was scheduled for summer. Yeah. In 2011? Yeah. And then they scrapped the. I can't believe that. The, Be, based on the success of Magic Mike. Well, it was also it was also due to the fact that something happened around that time, and they said uh, maybe we shouldn't do that. That was a bullshit excuse. It was because they killed Channing Tatum I, in the opening scene, no, and I, Magic Mike was a hit, and they I wanted to get the bitches in the theater. I understood that. Part. Apparently, The Rock isn't a big enough draw for the bitches. Well, and um, and but it's like you're making GI Joe two the movie. What girl really wants to go see that movie? Oh, it's anyway, very sexy. Anyway, have you seen it? Have you seen the trailer? I saw the first one. It it's was very fucking awful. As a GI Joe fan, it was fucking awful. Like literally, it took awful into a bedroom, bent it over, and fucked it. That's how <laughs> That's bad it was. Awful. Yeah, yeah. And you know how? That's like now, the ninth ring of awful. You know, awfulness. You know how good looking <laughs> awful was? Awful was a Boston ten. Okay. <laughs> That's what awful was. It was a Boston a Boston 10. Awful was adorable before you abused it. <laughs> it was innocent. Awful was down and Oh god. Awful was adorable before you touched it. I mean, who really gives a shit about that movie? Nobody. Nobody. It's going to, you know, it's going to come out. It's going to do Middle it, America will go and watch it. It's going to do excellent. You know it. it's going to be excellent. Yeah. You know it's going to it's going to do huge numbers for about 2 weeks and then it's going to, you know, Dwindle out. It'll be it'll flounder for about five, and then it'll be right on DVD. Yeah, it'll be on DVD in like three months. No Netflix. problem. Netflix. Yeah, exactly. Keep your comments to yourself. Our one listener. That's yes, out our there? one listeners. That, that that doesn't like us. They listen to hate us. I wish someone listened to hate us. Just put them on the Mike and Billy Facebook page. That's that's fine. Or the Twitter. Or the Twitter. Twitter. But yeah. remember, you can't delete those. Because once you said it, you said it. Oh, no. We'll I, we got a whole favorites one list. Uh, one of my favorites is you guys are a bunch of cunts. That's a great tweet. I can't believe someone said that. I love it. It's great. I wish he was British. Because <laughs> it's so much nicer <laughs> Because it would have almost been a compliment at that point. But Slightly. The, the American cunt is if negative. Like, the British cunt is like, positive. If it was like Steve Coogan saying it or something, it would be really nice. <laughs> it would be wonderful. I would love it. Uh, I, was trying, I was trying to spark up some sort of feud with the Iron Sheik today. Saw that. That ain't gonna work. No. Just tell Sheik to go fuck himself, and maybe, uh, maybe he'll actually say something. He'll humble you. I would love to be humbled by the Iron <laughs> Sheik. Duncan Sheik was just humbled by the Iron Sheik. Duncan Sheik. Why can't I be humbled by the Iron Sheik? Oh, that's fucking. I want to be like the hit list for the Iron Sheik is one Hulk Hogan, two the Ultimate Warrior. I want to be three. Because <laughs> you can't beat you can't beat one and two. I want to be three. I don't know. You get, you have stiff competition from Brian, Brian Blair over there. He's humbled him quite a few times. Also, uh, Chris Brown, and uh, Chris Brown's uh, been a big humbler. There's a there's a, who was who was the most recent one? There was another one besides Duncan Sheik. I what did Duncan Sheik do besides? Is it the Sheik thing? The Sheik thing. Okay, okay. He's not too deep, is he? No, it's very. It's you know it's that's very, what, that's what I it's love. It's right on the surface. That's what I love about the Sheik. I mean, he just he wears his heart on his sleeve, yeah. and he wears his hatred on the other sleeve, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> How or why? He doesn't wait till it's well done. He just eats it right. No, it just yeah. let's fucking go. Yeah. Just oh oh, you wanted to? No no, I'm just gonna take this cow and just eat it here. I'll just carve off my pieces of cow <laughs> with a nail. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and the nail is like shaped. I made a horrible joke hooked. at the bar tonight. Of no, course you did. Nobody laughed. Of course well, you did. Uh, the, well, you can't win them all like that. Like that last one with the. Where you were out at some fucking bar and you were watching another basketball game and you you said a comment and everyone's like ah! Bah, 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 bah. I occasionally get the slow See, clap. You never you never 
go back to the scene of the crime. No, 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 no. You so don't. what was the awful, um, awful waffle joke tonight? Well, well, the special of the night over at Miller's was uh, half pound lobster. Ooh. But the way they worded it was half pound live lobster. So I, of course, went and said, half pound live, huh? Well, I prefer my lobster dead. That's exactly the response I got. <laughs> that was the appropriate response. And I couldn't tell if they just didn't find it funny or if they just didn't get it. Was I, was I being too smart for them? It was, it was, it was very witty humor. <laughs> witty on the short bus sense? Yes! It was, it was witty on the helmet side like, of things. Like, that's, like that, was, that was witty like after you just took a handful of paste and smeared most <laughs> of it on your face and into your mouth. That's pretty much what you just were right there. <laughs> yeah. A little slow. Yeah, well, I, I, like I said, I prefaced it by saying it, it wasn't a good joke. I, I just, okay. You're in shock, aren't you? I am. By I'm the gonna... level of smart humor that I provide. You usually, you usually have some bangers, but that one... Clearly, really... the, the British humor is, is coming through in me. That's very dry, witty humor. That's not even... The, the British humor is dry. That's like 9,000 saltines in, <laughs> your, in your mouth. This lobster has ceased to be! <laughs> it does not exist! <laughs> See, I was hoping to have one of those type of exchanges with the guy, and he just he, he wasn't playing along. He was like, yo, you want another PBR? Okay, can find just bring you, another beer. You were you were hoping for an intelligent exchange. Yeah, I was. I was hoping with a to, bartender yeah. or waitress mm -hmm. at a at a Alston Brighton Watertown bar. Yeah, hoping yeah, that's not going to happen. Fingers crossed. No. Hope, hope. You could have crossed every single part of your body, and you weren't getting that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can't cross the streams. You could have crossed the streams, and you still weren't getting it. I don't know. Bad things happen when you cross the streams. There's a bunch of crap. They save the world when they cross the streams. Cross the streams. They save the <laughs> fucking world. Where was Zool? Zool was gone because they crossed the streams. Well, they blew up a building, though. Who gives a shit? It was a terrible building. <laughs> it was a terrible building. There was fucking ritualistic suicides up on top of that building. Well, again, we're going to come back to natural selection. Gozer babe. the Gozerian. Yeah. Come on, man. Get rid of it. It's Miller time. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are really stretching right now. We are at this point. You might just... Is this it? This is going to be it. This is it? Well, you know, you got to go while the iron's hot. And I think I think the iron has just, it's cooled We've down. We've been letting it cool down. Yeah. yeah. We're still stretching, aren't we? For yeah. no reason anymore. Because I'm waiting for you to say bye. You're the host. We, we, we wrapped it up five minutes ago and we're just stretching. Would you say bye already, Dick Cheese? <laughs> I got things to do. <laughs> I know. I got to go home and get my abuse. Oh, this is why I'm stretching. I don't want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I See, because I have a smile on my face now. We're enjoying ourselves. We're laughing. 20 minutes from now, I'm just going to like, mm -hmm. go back to work with Billy. You're going <laughs> to go home. She's going to yell at me. You're going to go home, and she's going to have a satchel full <sighs> of oranges. Yeah, exactly. She's going to have the bag of oranges waiting for me when I get home. <laughs> she's going she's gonna to beat them so bad, you're going to have Minute Maid on the floor. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> and then you ask why there's no orange juice. All right, I'll stop at 7-Eleven. I'm going to be home. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, if you made it all the way to the end of episode 18, we thank you. Humbly, we thank you. Uh... This is just the way it's going. I fuck up the ending as well. Thank you all for listening in, whether Billy. on whether on iTunes, yes, or on Spreaker, yes, or on Stitcher, yes. You can follow at Mike and Billy, yes. Show is it at Mike? No, it's at Mike and Billy on Twitter. There you go. Facebook.com slash Mike and Billy Show. Yes. You can find all of our personal stuff on there. Yes. Whether you want to comment, give us a criticism, uh, tell us we're assholes, tell us we're really funny guys. You can also tell Billy he needs a new co-host. You can certainly tell me that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, like us on on the guy you're all carrying is just awful. Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, you were you were hot on the memes this week, weren't you? Oh, holy shit! I got, I got quite a few comments about that fat guy you posted. Well, you know, you gotta, like you, you, you I'm trying you to generate a, people to the fucking page. It's wonderful. I'm not complaining, but you made quite a few people wretch. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, got, got quite a few comments around the office. That guy's our like, biggest fan. <laughs> So, 
that's our demo. When, yeah. when, when that's, that's what I'm aiming for. When, hey, when you want to aim, aim low. Cause, when, when you cause do it, that cause, exercise where they say, picture your audience. Right. No, it's it's not, no, the, you it's aim, not the hot 18-year-old girl. You, you it's aim low. Guy. You aim low because the ground is, you know, you're, you're closer to the ground. So if you fall... <laughs> 400 pounds of diaper ash ashing into a fucking bean can. He's a Boston 10. He is a Boston 10. So thank you very much for listening in to the Boston 10 radio show. <laughs> we'll see you next week. It is Mike Went and Billy Finnegan, the Mike and Billy show. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye.